All right, so I'm over here talking to Brian, and he's from UPEC, UPEC, and they're actually a Bay Area Silicon Valley company. And at first glance, I came over and I saw a couple of these little small things attached to the the, the laptops over here, and I thought, ah, okay, whatever. But then I started talking to them. And Brian, tell me a little bit about what you have over here. What uh, what we do is we manufacture silicon fingerprint uh, readers for the notebook. Uh, market and you know computer market both PC and Mac so what we're showing here is I have what's called the icon digital privacy manager and what it allows me to do is enroll my fingerprints in the device we store those fingerprint templates securely in the device and then what I can do is I can do things like I can now <clears throat> replace typing in a password with the swipe of the finger on the map so anywhere in the Mac OS where you'd have an authentication prompt that would ask you to enter a password, you now can swipe your finger. So let's do that again. Log out real quick. Sure. I'll go into screensaver log Okay, actually. so the screensaver is locked. You can't get in unless you know the password. And you need to come over here because you heard you got a weird photo of you uploaded to Facebook and you want to <laughs> hurry up and find out who did it. Right. And you come over. Let's get the... Right, so I laid my finger flat on the sensor and I slide it across. It recognizes me, and boom, we're in. Wow, so I heard something else, though. You mentioned something about an integration with a product that a lot of Mac people are familiar with. Yeah, so uh, to provide some additional functionality to the market, what we've done is we've been working with 1Password. One 1Password one is a leading uh, password manager product for website logins. So what I can do now is I can do things like bring up Safari here, and I'm gonna click on my 1Password integration link. I go to my bookmark, we'll use, say, Facebook. Now what it's gonna do is navigate me to the Facebook page, but here, instead of having to provide my master password into 1Password, what I do is I swipe my finger in what what will happen in and right now you don't have a little glitch because Brian doesn't have radio. his Facebook page right now going on so <laughs> but what will happen is then it will replay my username and password so that really makes it convenient I have to remember all of these username and passwords for all the 40 different sites that I'm registered on so and the important thing you said too is that the biometrics information your fingerprint is stored on the device it's not stored on the computer yeah that's really an important point because what we do is we identify all those unique points in your fingerprint. We create a template. It's a mathematical template, like a roadmap. We encrypt it and we store it in this device. That template never leaves the device, and all the processing happens within the icon. So that makes it very secure. Never does your fingerprint information ever get processed on the computer itself. All right, now where can they find out some information on the products? You can go to www.upec.com, U-P-E-K.com. U-P-E-K.com, okay. And you can also uh, see the product at the Apple stores. At the Apple stores, so you guys are at the Apple stores. Yep. Very nice. I really suggest that you guys take a look at the, uh, at the products that they have here. Very stylish. They are designed worthy to be next to your Apple laptop. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank you.